All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the second episode of me exploring the game Grounded. Uh, unfortunately, I had about 30 minutes of gameplay before this. Uh, realized that the microphone was not recording correctly. It was recording, but it was very choppy. It was like, ah, 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 oh, 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 ah, 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 oh. So I decided instead of uh, going back and replaying and sort of artificially experiencing everything for the first time with fixed microphone, uh, as of right now, I'm just going to push on. I'll give you a quick recap as to what happened in the first episode. Frankly, it really wasn't a lot. However, I just didn't want to do anything artificially and sort of like fake my reactions to stuff. Uh, so we're going to push forward. We're going to try to get about another 15 or 20 minutes of gameplay here. Uh, there's really not much that happened in the first episode. Just did a lot of exploring, sort of explored the menus, uh, the crafting, things like that. I found a, uh, what I think is the shrinking device in the ground, uh, and we're supposed to be exploring it. I have to fix it. In order to do that, I had to go into a cave and I have to craft a torch, and it's nighttime. Uh, so that's about where we're at right now. I haven't craft crafted the torch or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so I apologize for that. Uh, it's it sucks, but you know I'm I'm new to all this. It's there's gonna be some learning pains al along the way. Um, the first episode was gonna be kind of long, frankly, to the be to begin with. I had about 30 minutes of footage. I do want to try to keep everything to about 15 or 20 minutes per episode. So. Uh, with that said, it's probably, I don't want to say it's a good thing that the footage got ruined, but, uh, you know, going forward, we're going to try to keep everything shorter. So, in that vein, like I said, it's nighttime. Uh, we're good on food and water for now. You can get water from these drops right here. As you can see, there are lasers shining down to a machine. We've got one solid laser there, one solid laser there and a laser that is sort of defective right now. We figured out that there were some insects uh, breaking the wire. So what we need to do is craft a torch. Um, torch, torch, torch. I feel like my menu's different. Why can't I craft a torch? Did it not save? Let me analyze. Oh, I did. I analyzed dry grass chunk. And I should be able to craft a torch. Did I? Am I. Oh, pfft. I was going to say, am I a complete idiot and just missing it? The answer to that is almost always yes. So I do need to make two crude ropes. One. Two, then we will make a torch. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, pebblet hammer. Okay, so instead of chopping, busting. So we did. We learned a, a bunch of different. We learned some armor. Uh, we learned. We learned some healing. We learned some. Uh, you know, utility melee. Uh, you know, wep weapons and tools, if you will. Um, but yeah. Okay, so we do have a torch. The power of Helion, champion of the sun. I don't want to use it yet because I assume it'll degrade. However, it looks like I am just using it. So let's try to make this quick. Uh, we'll run. What is this? I have not seen this assembly. Oh, this is my lean to. Uh, you know what? Let's just sleep. Yeah, let's Perhaps go ahead and we sleep. Make camp for the night? Yeah, because I feel like at nighttime or when the freaks come out, the freaks come out at night. What? 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 Okay, so we accidentally, we had a heartbreak with an ant. We accidentally killed an ant. Holy cow, sleeping really deprives you of food and water. Gonna have to eat some mushrooms. Jesus Christ. We're definitely gonna have to be looking out for some morning dew in the grass. I I still haven't figured out if, like, I, f I think these ants want me to follow them, but I'm just not gonna yet. Uh, because I did kill one of their homies, and I feel like it's a trap. Let's keep an eye out for water. I think I see water there. I did, yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, I do want some dry grass, maybe. Depending on how fast the torches, uh, burn up. Where did that water go? Oh, here we go. So I think if I just hit it once, it should drop the water. Yep. 
Okay, let's strength this. And let's get ready to die. I have a feeling that going into this cave is gonna not be good for our uh, physical and mental health. I'm gonna try to get some sap because that makes bandages. I should probably have a bandage or two ready to go. Uh, health. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and make a bandage. So what I learned in the first episode is that bandages are also not like immediate heals. They, uh, they're slow. They will heal you, but they're slow. So if you're like in the middle of getting roughed up, you're not going to be able to just pop a bandage and be healed up. What is that noise? What is that? Oh boy. Something big, something big. Analyze a grass plank at a resource analyzer. Workbench woes. I bet I can make bigger things with a workbench. First, we're going to figure out whatever this is. Okay, so kill these mites. Oh, or not. Jeez. My aim is impeccable. My defense is impregnable. Alright, let's see. Following the wire. They are really messing this- Oh! Oh, Jesus! Coming out of everywhere here. I'm already down to half health. So, pop a bandage. And as you can see on the bottom left, it doesn't really, uh... Heal you very fast. It does heal you. Yeah, there we go. That's definitely the way to do it. Find whatever's okay. Oh, was that it? Slime mold stock. I will take you. Um, okay, investigate the, the mysterious machine further. We'll do. I still hear some of those lawn mites, so we still got to be a little careful. Unless they're just like in a different part of the tunnel. Yeah, that might be what it is. I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's more underground. Let's turn our twa turn our to turn our torch off. Do do bo bo. All right, so there's some big stuff walking around because we saw them like bending the grass blades. Uh, I don't have a lot of clover, so I'm gonna get some more clover. I don't really know what it's used for yet, but I feel like it's not. I don't want to say rare, but not like readily available okay so all three if I'm yep yeah, all three lasers are active feel like I'm gonna die but I, I, I probably won't because like you have to do this what's going on down here Oh! Yeah, apparently don't mess with ants. Alright, what happens if I pop on here? A whole lot of nothing. Okay. Oh, activate. Alright. with the feather. Alright. Am I gonna get super big now? Oh, I broke again. Whoa. The big beautiful Miyagi tree broke. Did anybody else see a feather? Yeah, see? What's with this feather? Investigate the explosion at the oak tree. I'm I might wait on that a little bit. I kind of want to just like, I want to, I saw that I could build some armor. Crow feather. Okay. Yeah. And, and like uh, a workbench to where I could potentially upgrade my stuff, I assume, or make different stuff. So I'm going to go back to um, this thing here, the field station. And see if I can make... I'm not going to mess with this ant. 
said I think I have to analyze this grass plank. Is that correct? I didn't realize that you could do... Yeah, okay, so you can. Analyze grass plank. Window? Okay, so it is. Alright, cool. So it's a uh, workbench, and then it's a bunch of uh, house stuff. In the first episode, I kept saying that I think these big planks are probably for building a base. Uh, and then when you reach these brain power levels, you unlock new things as well. Let's just go ahead and analyze the stuff that we haven't analyzed yet. Might as well use the charges while we can. Oh, cool. I already know everything. Kind of a waste, but I guess I get my brain power, so that's fine. We'll do might fuzz. Got a lot of things to analyze. Ooh, arrow. Okay. So it means at some point I can get a bow. That's pretty cool. Oh, sorry, I hit the mic. Okay, build a workbench. Let's see how we do that. Build a workbench. Uh, here we go. Right? Go oh, house stuff. Okay, workbench. So I need three grass planks and one more sap. Okay, we could do that. So I'll just unload the, uh, hit G and unload the plank there. So what did I say? One more sap? We're just looking for one more sap. Um, I feel like the sap is on, yeah, it's on sticks. Don't mess with me. I don't want to mess with you and you'll kill me, I'm sure. Okay, here's a sap. I should probably just collect all of the sap that I can see because I need it for bandages as well. Can I get up here? Oh, I can. Not that this does anything for me, but kind of cool. Oh, there's another sap. All right, let's go make a workbench and see what we could do with that. I should also probably, um, it said if you make a trail marker, you can uh, make like waypoints. So I should probably make a trail marker and put it here so that I always know where it's at. We should probably also make a roasting spit. I'm gonna make a trail marker. Wait, okay. Uh, I didn't realize it was gonna be this big, but whatever. It's like a flag kinda. Okay, so we'll do here. Super build. Set custom marker. Uh, okay, we'll just do this for now. Scab flavor default. It's kind of weird. We'll do green because it's like our, you know, base. It's a, uh, a good thing, right? So now, yeah, now I can see where it's at. Cool. Just like my, oh wait, I thought I could see my lean-to. I should probably bring that over here. I should probably like make this my base. All right, let's grab three of these and craft a workbench. Let's see, where do we want our workbench? Probably like right here. Good enough for me. Super build. Built. All right. The workbench is needed to craft more complex items. Interact with it to open your crafting menu. All right. So I want to make a level two axe. However, it doesn't look. So I can't upgrade. Just probably when I get better. Uh, when I get better. Um, plans, if you will, recipes, it's probably, I probably need the workbench. I wonder, yeah, okay, so like these, I need the workbench, right? So like, I sh should I make this? I should probably make this, right? Let's see, what does it give me? The mite hat gives me some good, ooh, hyper stamina and medium armor. I should probably make that, right? I don't have any of this, though. Gives me a little bit of defense. This one does. This gives me a little bit of defense in this case. So I need clover and rope. Yeah, so that's why, I, okay. So I can make this, let me just make one rope. And then I can at least make uh, this. That should keep me safe. Okay. Safe and then I need six and three. So I need nine clover to make a full armor set. We should probably make that like 
a little bit of a priority before we started venturing off too far. I think there was clover right here. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna collect clover, clover, clover. Clover, clover, clover. Oh, there's a bunch. Clover, clover, clover. How many do we have? We needed nine, nine and I have, okay, cool. I should have enough then. Oh wait, I don't have to go, uh, I do need to make some rope. I think I need to make like three. Okay, so now we'll go back to the crafting recipe, the crafting bench, cause we do need the crafting bench to make the armor. And we will make this and oh, I need two more rope. One and two. And then we will make my a little safer now. legs. Okay. Inventory. I forgot to uh, equip the chest piece. So it looks like F is equipped. All right. Now. Cool. So we have a... We don't have anything in our weak hand. That's probably just like our offhand defrag. Auto slot optimization. I don't know what I just did, but I just did that. Oh, it looks like this food is going bad potentially. So maybe we should make a... God, I need water again. We should make a... A uh, cra cooking thing. What is it called? Roasting spit. I need three dry, try, three dry grass chunks. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. Click, click, click. Break, break, break. One, two, and three. Let's. Uh, what is that noise? Oh, aphid. Let's make uh, somewhere where we can cook, craft. Cooking, roasting spit, bada bing, bada boom. We'll put it back here. That's fine. Super build, dawn. Let's go. All food items suitable for mallard reaction. I think that's like a... Is this thing eating my food? Fine dining. Cook a bug in the roasting spit. Okay, but so then is it cooked? It is eating my food! Just pretend it's beef turkey. What the heck, man? I thought we were cool. Okay, that gives a ton of food too. Look at my food meter on the bottom left. However, I do need water. I see water right here. Hopefully I don't burn the food by doing this. Water filtration tablets needed. Is done. Okay. All right. So it looks like we're just on under 20 minutes for the uh, recording. So we didn't get much done. We just explored a little bit, got the laser working. Our next goal is to, it looks like, scan a clover leaf at the resource analyzer and investigate the explosion at the oak tree. So as I'm learning the game, I'm sure we'll get more done as the uh, the series proceeds. But if you guys are enjoying your time here at Gleeful Onion, please make sure that you leave me a like, throw me a sub, and leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.